I'm your host, Guji Lorenzana. You've come to our last segment for our last artist for tonight. And if you just tuned into our show, Bandwidth brings to you live music uh, to the comfort of your own homes every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays from 7 p.m. onwards. And not only that, this show also aims to raise funds for COVID-19 related efforts. Bandwidth is brought to you by Sindicato Studios and is also presented by Globe. Uh, thank you also so much to Coco Life for tonight's episode. Hi. We had uh, Ari Mendez and we had Barbie Almaldis a while ago and they performed a few songs and we got to know them a little bit better. So thank you guys to our audience for participating. And for our third and final artist for tonight, we have Kitchen Adal together with her band. Uh, if I print, can I, um, hopefully I don't uh, mess this up. Is it Meisa? Is that correct? Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Oh, that's Perfect. great. We have, so we have Marco and uh, Shona who are on the show. Uh, so to also to, we're also going to show their music. They're going to share their music and they're going to be chatting with us as well. So uh, guys, who's all the audience is watching, feel free to ask any questions you guys want. Put them in the comment box and we'll uh, try to answer them the best we can uh, after their performance. So for their first song, Kichi Nadal and Meisa, Shana, Mar Marco and Shauna will be performing their original Spanish song, Como Tu. Right. Yay! Thank you so much, Kitchi and Maisa, for that <laughs> performance, and welcome to Bandwidth. Uh, it's so nice to have you guys. I mean, I know you guys are located in different places, and it's amazing that you guys can still come together with technology to, to do wonderful music like this. Uh, how's, how's Spain? <laughs> Kitchi? It, it, today, it's quite sunny. It's nice, and uh, well, it has gotten a lot better with the pandemic, no? Like... Mm -hmm. um, I think um, 
less uh less um what do you call this um uh, less people are more worried about it i think yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and, and hopefully the, this trend continues where people are getting more comfortable about it because, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, of course, high anxiety and people are just getting used to this. But um, uh, in Spain, like, tell us a little bit about how, how that is and doing music over there now since it's been a while since you've been here. Mm, well, we, um, first of all, I, I wanted, I was looking for a, a band because that's what I'm used to, like in the Philippines, right? And then um, a friend of mine recommended um, Marcos. He had a post before, uh, uh, yeah, and online, and I thought of joining. And then same with Shauna. So. Sh Shauna and, and uh, Marco, how was, how was the experience working with Kitchi? And, and knowing that she's, you know, she's a huge star here in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I actually love the Philippines, and I have a few friends living there. and. When I met Kiji, she, you know, as you guys probably know, she's really kind and she's really, yeah. you know, she's very experienced. I just started singing. So she's been teaching me a lot and just working with her has been a really amazing experience. And all of my friends know her. So it's crazy to be working with a superstar. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Superstar. <laughs> Yeah, you, come on. <laughs> when I met uh, Kiji, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know she, who she was. Um, and actually, I, I didn't learn about that she was a superstar until quite a lot later. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so I guess I wasn't influenced by that at all. I was just uh, listening to her the way she could sing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I just liked that right away. So then I learned she was a superstar in the Philippines, which is really <laughs> cool. But um, yeah, she's awesome. She's very open and uh, it's super nice to work with her. That, that's great. That's great. It's it's so nice and refreshing to know that uh, that you're that you're doing this kitschy, that you're doing this abroad and in, in of all places, Spain. So it's it's really a breath of fresh air. Uh, wanted to get to some comments here. Um, Erica says, uh, even if she can't understand the song, the song is so beautiful. So wow, well, thank you very much. We also thank have you. Jay Lonnie who says, nice to see you perform again, Kitchi. Chris says, walang kupas, and. Awesome. We also have uh, Mira who says, my favorite singer. So, I mean, as you guys can see, Marco and Shana, we, she has amazing fans here in the Philippines and all over the world for that matter. Camille says, uh, hi, Shona. See you soon. Let's go back to the Philippines soon. <laughs> you, got, you got fans on here too hey, watching. Me. That's great. That's great. My friend. <laughs> all right. Before we move on to the next song, uh, we're going to play a quick game that we like to call Quick Fire. So I'll ask, like a few, ask you guys a few questions, and, if, and you have to answer them uh, by the first thing that pops into your head as quick as possible. So the first question, uh, we'll, we'll go to, uh, to Kitchi. Uh, who is your current musical inspiration? Yeah. I, is, she, is she muted? She's muted. Oh, can, can you hear me? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, she's muted again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Musical inspiration. None? We can't hear you. Well, right now? There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I would say Marco and Shauna. Wow. Wow. Great answer. <laughs> Great answer. Great answer. Yeah. Because I've been learning, you know, I've been hanging out with them more mm -hmm. and getting a lot of inspiration from them. Yeah. Nice. Shauna. Musical inspiration. Come on. I was seriously going to say the other two because they're really <laughs> I, I'm not saying it because they're here. I was really going to say it. But they, you know, I've never ever, it's the first time I work with musicians. So just wow. to be able to work with such experienced people, I really learned a lot from them. Marco. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're such a good band, you know? <laughs> a lot of kitschy stuff um, because, you know, um, we're writing songs now. So I was just paying attention to what her timbre is, her, her favorite lines of singing. Yeah. So I was actually, that's, that's why I was doing my research on, mm -hmm. on her. Uh, obviously, lots of different music uh, that is coming up right now, like... Mm -hmm. uh, Clairo, uh, Aurora, um, 
Mm -hmm. Lots of new artists, uh, especially from the UK, from Iceland, uh, but but also my colleagues are really, they're really good musicians. So they're good influences on me. That's great. That's great. That's great to know. Yeah. Next question. If you could sing one song your whole life, what would it be? Kitchy. That's hard. One song? One song or genre or? <laughs> uh, well, the question is one song, but it's okay, again. Okay, one song. Um, wow. Ah, I don't know. Oh, um, hard somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> nice, nice song, nice song. Can I ask why? Because I like the message and it's classic. Yeah. Classic. And everybody would like to hear it. Okay, Marco, um, if you could sing one song forever, what would it be? That's super. That's a very difficult question. <laughs> um, it depends on the mood, I guess. But I was speaking to Kichi about this the other day. Uh, we we're, were writing this song, and I think this. this Finger from back from the seventies and eighties called David Bowie. Yeah, and he mm -hmm. has a song called the Space Oddity about you know traveling the space and that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a very good song. It inspired me very much for my last song actually. Nice, nice, great answer. Um, Sh Shona, how about you? One song forever. For me, that's an easy answer. I've always loved the song "I Will Always Love You" by Whitney Houston. Oh, wonderful! It's my song. favorite karaoke song. So. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect answer. Okay, last question. Um, Kitchi, who is one artist that has that you aspired to be when you're growing up? Growing up, should be maybe one of them would be Queen. Queen. Mm, Radiohead, of course. Wow! Mm, wow! Wow! There's a lot. There's a lot. Um, mm, uh, Massive Attack, Portis Head. Wow. And yeah. Damn it. Like, wow. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> but all There's of that. There's a lot out there. There is. There is. All that, in, you know, has inspired Kitchi and that's created, that they created you. So, good thing. Um, Marco, uh, if, you yeah. know, one artist that inspired, that you aspired to be growing up. Um, okay. Yeah. And not being so much of a myth guy. Um, <laughs> also, as Kichi, uh, I like, especially when I when I was at university, uh, I was studying, I was studying computing uh, music, and wow. um, they were they were Radiohead. Radiohead were really pioneers on uh, computer yeah. music. So I was really learning from them. It's not that I wanted to be with them because they're really weird. So. Um, but I'm, I'm also, I mean, I'm really keen on Radiohead as well, I would say. Nice, nice. Okay, Shona. Yep. He's not an artist, but I think my dad was a big influence on me, uh, you know, for me starting to enjoy music. But I think my dad is one of the people who really, you know, I looked up to as, as a singer. And I also always loved um, Alicia Keys because she wow. plays the piano really well and she has this really powerful voice and a lot of her songs are very, you know, strong. So I think those are the two people. That, that's great. That's great. I mean, it's, it's all around. It's all over the board and different types of uh, inspirations and different types of likes and, and music. That's great. And uh, we want to hear we want to hear another song from you guys. So let's move on to the next song. Uh, this is uh, Kitchen Adele and Meisa performing their next a song entitled La Distancia. Stand. 
distancia entre nosotros se tiene que acabar con palabras poderosas que se van a escuchar All right. Thank you for that. Thank you so much, Kichi, for that amazing, amazing performance. Um, we want to get to some comments here that we weren't able to get to earlier. We have uh, somebody, uh, Mav says, uh, Meisa, come to Dubai. Would love to see you perform again. Te quiero. Wow. You guys have amazing dance. Nice, nice. <laughs> And uh, Shona, um, I'm reading here. There's so many friends of yours uh, that are watching. We have uh, Carmela who says she is such a proud friend of yours right now. Oh, thank you, Ate Carmela. <laughs> wow, Ate, Ate, Ate Carmela. And someone is asking, yeah. do you guys watch Money Heist? That's an amazing Netflix show that everybody is watching. Everybody's falling in love with Spain because of it. Do you guys watch it? Shona. La Casa de Papel. Yes, Casa de Papel. Is it, I, I love it? that show. Yes, I watch it. I just finished it a few days ago, and I'm so, I'm so, I, I, I can't wait for the next season. Marco, do you watch it? Yeah, yeah. I just came from uh, watching the whole uh, last season as well. It's quite mm -hmm. big here too. So, yeah. It's based who, in Madrid. Who is your favorite character, if you don't mind me asking? For me, it's the guy that. Uh, there's this guy called Al Alvaro. His yeah. name is Dexter. And he's really, really good. I like his character. Uh, but I, what I like is the mood of the series, the darkness. Uh, yeah. Here, normally, it's serious here. Are sort of, normally, they're more open sort mm -hmm. of thing. So it's, it's surprising to see some dark sort of mood in a series, which I think yeah. make, made it really big. No, and, and the story behind it, I mean, they, they it wasn't even like a very popular show before before hitting Netflix, and then it just it just completely blew up. I mean, it, it's great, and I'm I'm glad that they've included the Philippines in it. The Philippines is included in that in that uh, series. Which is that a spoiler? Am I spoiling it for people? I hope not. I hope I'm not doing that. Kitchy, have, you haven't seen it yet. I, I hear no, but my husband does. So I only wow. catch it when somebody dies. <laughs> 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 and and um, um, since Shona watched it, who's your favorite character? If you don't mind me asking, <gasps> Nairobi. Since day one, Nairobi's Nairobi is my favorite. <laughs> wow, well, Nairobi is awesome. <laughs> Speaking of Japan, <laughs> my favorite character is Tokyo. Like, oh, really? Great. Yeah, she's yeah. pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, totally cool. We have uh, Marielle saying, "Meisa in the Philippines, please." Uh, will you guys ever perform here together? Yes, please. Oh. That's what uh, we were saying. We have to go there and play for sure. Yes, I mean you. You can't not perform here, especially if Kichi. Kichi's such a big star here. You have to be. You have to come back here and perform. Yeah, of course. I uh, always Maria, make sure we come back. How, how often do you come back, um, Kichi? Yearly, twice a year. Okay. Yeah. Do you have Do you have plans uh, on performing here? Um. Hopefully, this uh, Christmas. Oh well, I was just yeah. there like last 
last month or before the lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, um, you had a show in Eastwood. I had a in, show in Eastwood. Yeah. In uh, February, and one of the uh, one of the artists that was performing today actually opened for you, and she's such a huge yeah. fan. In fact, one of her songs <laughs> is is uh, inspired by you. So you know. Wow. Her name is Ari. Yeah. Yeah, Ari. Yeah, we we yeah. met there for the first time. And then I ha- I also had a gig in Cebu and really Iloilo. Wow. Well, hopefully after quarantine, you guys can can come back for that. Um, another comment here. Um, Mar- uh, Mary, is it Marie? Uh, Morimoto is asking, uh, what was the song about? That's my mom. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, La Distancia. Yeah, I think Marco can answer that the best. Was it about uh, social distancing? <laughs> I mean, sorry. Could be. Could be. Could be. <laughs> it can apply, definitely. <laughs> it's actually about that. It's about human distance uh, between okay. people, how to use mm. uh, a bit, uh, all our technology that we have and everything to get closer to the people we, we love, especially like us. Uh, like I was raised in the UK myself, mm-hmm. so uh, I've been using a lot of, obviously, uh, internet communications and other ways, other means of communication with people, with the people I, I love, uh, to stay in touch. And I think it applies to these times really wow. well. Now. Wow, yeah. how, how, how fitting that song is for, for right now, exactly. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Um, David says, so proud of you, Kitschy, since before only a few OPM artists could be an international sensation. It's, uh, oh. it's only a matter mm-hmm. of time she will blow up in Europe. Uh, make an English original, please. Uh, Watching live from Geneva, wow, uh, Kitchi, how does it, Kitchi, how does it feel to 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 be to be doing this in Spain? Because um, we know we're you know we know you're based in Spain now. Um, mm-hmm. to, to be able to do this and to be just keep to keep inspiring people to to do this, how does it feel? For me, it's just exciting, you know, to explore music with you know Spanish musicians. Mm-hmm. Um, how? Yeah. How is it different uh, from from Manila and, and and Spain, or how is it the same also? How is it different in this? Oh well, it's just well. First of all, like the language, no. Mm-hmm. Like I had to adapt to Spanish songs, Spanish uh, yeah lyrics, and of course uh, we haven't actually had a gig yet live, but I'm looking forward to that. And here in Madrid, um, most people, uh, they expect you to, to sing like uh, in Spanish. Um, yeah. There are, yeah, there are some areas also are, are international, so we don't know yet. But yeah, we'll, we'll be definitely, we'll be releasing English songs. That's great. That's great. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Snowell says, please come back in Napoli, Italy. Well, you guys had a show there, or you went, you performed there. Yeah, I performed there in Napoli. Oh, wow. oh yeah, Napoli. There we go. And then uh, Jerry's asking, "Puede cantar uh, huwag na huwag mong sasabihin." Oh, I thought this was Spanish. <laughs> I thought I was trying to be Spanish. <laughs> it's your, it, it's one of her hit songs, guys. Um, would you be able to sing it, or, or soon maybe? Yeah. Actually, I translated that in Spanish. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Um. How how was the um the reception for that song there in in Spain? It's funny because uh, here in Spain, well, I I haven't performed it uh, to uh-huh. uh, to Spanish people, mm-hmm. although I've I've sang it in um, like um, Filipino events, and most of the Filipinos here speak Spanish, so of course they loved it, and they oh, learned it right away. That's yeah. I mean, uh, for those that don't know, like Marco and Sean, I'm, I'm sure you guys know, but that that song was a huge song here. Um, um, <laughs> speaking of speaking of Philippines, uh, Kitchi, uh, if is if you're craving Filipino food, is there a restaurant that you go to that sells Filipino food nearby? <laughs> nearby, yes, Meron. Really? But okay. Meron, pero <clears throat> it's not a big restaurant. No, it's just a small. Uh-huh. And most of the time, I just. Go to our Filipino neighbors. <laughs> nice, nice. And, uh, <laughs> <nakikikain>. <laughs> do you do you cook Filipino food there? Yeah. Okay. I only learned to cook here. Wow. You won't believe it. I just learned to cook like just when I moved here in Spain. <laughs> uh Marco and Shona, have you guys uh, tried their cooking? 
Filipino. I haven't tried her cooking yet. <laughs> but I would love to. Adobo, sinigang. Great, great. Man, Shona, I feel like... I feel like Shona is a, is a Filipino native. She knows so much about our, our culture. I'm really surprised like, how much she knows about Filipino. I tried learning Tagalog. Really no me. way. I no swear, way. yeah. My friends Ma taught me a lot. Marco, you, you got to catch up. There's a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he will because, you know, like uh, there's a lot of Filipino words in Spanish. Yeah, mm. that's yeah. true. That's, that's uh, very true. Uh, that'll be easier. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be easier. Well, speak, speaking of uh, your next, you know, what's coming up with you guys, um, the, the band Meisa will be releasing a new album this year. Do we have a date for that yet? Or what can we look forward to with that? Yeah, we, we don't have uh, the dates yet uh, because everything was a bit of a slowed down suddenly. So, But uh, it'll, be, it'll be later this year, hopefully uh, before like autumn or maybe maybe winter. It depends. Uh, we'll be, we've been uh, recording uh, some stuff. And then uh, during the summer and after the summer, we want to play live um, and just to test it live and, and then just release an album uh, for the end of this year, if it's possible. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm excited to hear it. Um, you guys describe your music as electronic indie. Can you please like describe and a little bit what, what that sounds like and what that is? Kitchy? Uh, I'd say electronic, just electronic. <laughs> just electronic. Just electronic. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. How about you, um, Marco? Yep. I would say, yeah, electronic. Uh, we, we've been, we are using uh, analog scenes, which is uh, very pe peculiar inside the electronic scene because you have all the digital equipment, which uh, is, is more common use. Um, mm -hmm. But we use them for the album and for the songs, these songs that you guys are listening to now. Um, really interesting analog synthesizers, uh, which which are really, really cool for, for creating like sort of indie music, which in the end is just like music made at home somehow and for mm -hmm. like uh, listening uh, anywhere, really. Does it, does it uh, make it for a harder setup live or is it an easier like a tech writer when it comes to setting up a live, uh, live show? Hard. Uh, it's quite hard because the synths are really heavy themselves. Uh, so they're more for uh, studio environments. Um, uh -huh. But you can synthesize those sounds and take them uh, live with you um, just in a computer. So in the end, this is quite flexible, let's say. Nice, nice. Cool, cool. All right, well, let's not wait any longer. Um, if you guys have any more questions, please continue to ask us in our comment box. Uh, we are going to move on to their next song for tonight. And that song is called, uh, hopefully I can pronounce this correctly, Mira Miralo Volar. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Here we go.
la distancia entre nosotros se tiene que acabar.
Thank you so much. Thank you, Kichi. Thank you, Melissa, for joining us tonight. And I'm going to check here if we have any uh, any questions we have or any comments we have. Uh, Mayor TV says, Grabe Kichi Wusai. Super, super good. Um, Erica says, It was like a lullaby. That was amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for those comments. And thank you guys for joining us. Um, so you guys can tell us. Oh, there we go. That's how you know it's a live show. We have kids <laughs> running in the background. My mine mine is sleeping uh, in her crib right now. But Kitchi's kid is. In this. <laughs> how does it How does it feel to be uh, before we leave? How does it feel to be to be a mother juggling all of this at the same time? Music, being a mom. <laughs> I've been okay. trying to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. There you are. Hello. Hi. Hola. Hola. Hola, chicos. Adios. Adios. <laughs> so, if you ask me, like, I'm learning to. <laughs> well, we, we could already we could already hear that he has the voice, so you know it's gonna yeah. come out. It's definitely gonna come out. Anyway, b before you know, so you can get back to what you're doing, being a mom and taking care of uh, yeah. everything back there. Uh, doing is there all anything... at the same time. Is there anything you guys want to plug? Uh, new music that's coming out, um, social media is where we can find you, or and anything else that you guys want to 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 plug right now, um, Kitchy. Okay, we want to uh, check us out on uh, Facebook and Instagram, and we'll be releasing our first single called La Distancia. Nice, nice. The video is coming up too. Yeah. La Distancia. I wanted to thank everyone that was doing the videos because we've done a video with a lot of people from all over the world uh, singing this song. So they do like one sentence, uh, half a sentence each, uh -huh. and uh, it all with the mobile phones. So it'll be really nice just to close down that distance between us. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll be releasing this, uh, this video clip this weekend, I, I think. So it'll be very nice to see like people. And really, I would I would like to thank everyone that was involved in the in the in the video because uh, they've been really helpful for us. Wow! Well, thank thank you, Marco. Thank you, thank you, Shana. Shana, do you have anything final things to say to the, your your all the, all your friends and friends and fans who are watching right now? Uh, th thank you so much, and you know, I think I really believe in this group, so I hope we can. You know, spread positivity, and we really hope to go to the Philippines. I hope we will go to the Philippines. So. <laughs> yeah, I think I think all of us hope that you 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 Kitchy can bring your music uh, here and and this whole band there. Uh, we we want to thank you again for uh, for spending time with us and and doing this uh, for all of us, and of course for helping uh, spread how how everyone can help and donate to fight COVID nineteen and, and all of its efforts. Uh, to all the fans and all the people that were watching today, thank you guys for your comments and for participating with us. Um, and that's that's it for tonight's episode of Bandwidth. Uh, hopefully you all had fun. We all had a good time. Thank you to all our viewers again for your continued support. And remember, uh, we do this again uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the same time from 7 p.m. And uh, I'm so excited to watch our next performances next week. Um, we have uh, Titus, uh, Mick, uh, Kendika of Three-Legged Men and Keiko Nasario on the show next week. And um, if you'd like to be up to date on anything bandwidth, make sure to click and to get uh, and get the remember icon uh, on all of the event posts that we post. And don't forget to like us and follow our page. Support your local artists and let's do whatever we can to lend a helping hand in situations like this. Guys, thank you again so much. Maraming salamat. Everybody else out there. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Thank you, bandwidth. Thank you, Kitchen. Thank you.